Hello, we're going to be focusing on this GameCube controller today, which was sent in by a customer on the GameCube controller Discord. It's very nicely notched, and apparently the stick pots are needing adjustment, or um, replacing rather, so that's what I've agreed to do. We've got some new pots here, which are supplied by Fires, and there'll be a link for that in the description in case you're interested in supplying these parts, and I'm just showing how I would approach this. So let's go ahead and get two of these pots out. We're going to pull this controller apart and I'll show you what we're going to do next. And here we've got some uh, gamer flavored cotton candy. <laughs> I'll go ahead and clean this up as well. And we'll move on to the bottom. Okay, so we've got our first little road bump here is this hot glue. So we're going to go ahead and soak this area in isopropyl alcohol. We're going to get that hot glue off. There's, there's not really any need for that here, especially when the actual module itself is also hot glued in place. I think we'll go ahead and uh, we'll redo the wiring over here as well. We'll make that nice and neat. Let's see if we can get that hot glue off should just come right off. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. Just one bit. How about this other side? I absolutely do not like hot glue for this type of application. You know, if it was to manage these wires in another spot, that's fine. But right over the solder joints, like, why? Why? It's not It's not making it better. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and take a screenshot of this so I can remember uh, what it looks like when we put the new pots in. These stick boxes are going to be held in by these screws as well. So I'm going to go ahead and undo those. That way I can get the stick box out of the way so I'm not heating it up. Okay, we'll do that for both sticks. Now on the stick itself, since these pots we're going to be we're just going to be replacing them. So let's just going to pry this open. Okay. Looks good. We're going to do the same thing on this one, and then I'll do the other stick off camera. Just doing a little bit of plastic. There we go. Great. Okay, so now I've got the stick boxes removed. We're going to bring in everyone's favorite friend, low melt solder. And really what I want to do is I just, I don't want to heat anything up too much. Let's go ahead and take these wires off first. Okay. And clean my tip and we'll apply that low melt just a little bit. And try to move this, all these wires out of the way for the snapback module.
And now I should be able to just lift this board up. We've got one of them. They'll just fall right out. I think this is nicer than having to use this suction. Uh, that's just my opinion. Some people like to do this suction. This is fine for me. Okay. If you're doing the sticks that are all soldered in, then the suction gun can be nice to have. Or you just do... I like to do low melt with uh, just a little bit of hot air. Nothing crazy. Okay. Let's go ahead and do these pots as well. See if I could lift this up and get the same action to make it fall out. Almost. That one's gone. And the last one. Need a little bit more low melt. Okay, all the old ones are off. We're going to clean off all those holes with some uh, solder wick, and then we'll go from there. Whoops, should put that in frame. That looks nice. We trim this. So we have some fresh wick and we'll do the other portion. Let me turn this over. There's a little bit of solder stuck in one of those. How's that? Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other part and we'll be right back. So I've got both pots off. And if, if you've been watching this thinking, God, those look awful, it's because they do. But that's just flux, because check this out. Just a little bit of alcohol and look how clean it gets. There's still some of that uh, hot glue on there too. So that's making it extra gross. Okay, that looks great. And same thing on the C stick.
It's all the factory flux and whatever was, if it was ever worked on before. All of it. That's better. Look at this. <laughs> Disgusting. Just a little bit more. I want it really clean. Okay. Let's move on to the new pots. So I've got the new pots clipped in. And I can see that it's working on both axis, axes. I'll just show you on this other one as well. So you've got a little spot for it to clip into. There's a little slot there. I'm going to turn this so it's straight. We're just going to go ahead and clip that on. Now that moves with the stick. Okay. We're going to do the same thing for this one. Rotate it gently with the plastic tool. And we're just going to clip it on. Okay. Now I'm going to screw these boards back on, or the, the pots back on, and then we'll solder them. Let's go ahead and solder these one by one. I'm going to heat the pin and the pad at the same time. My iron's at 367 Celsius. Okay, looks good. Repeat right over here. It doesn't take a lot. Does that look good? I think so. And let's do these guys. I've got the theme song from the anime, The Great Pretender, stuck in my head. Just pretend that's, that music is playing or put it on in the background. Looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and re-solder the snapback module exactly how it was. There's no way I'm undoing this uh, goobly glob of hot glue. I'm not touching that. So we are going to put this wire back the way it was. Let me go ahead and pull up my screenshot. All right, so we've got a right, right red wire over here. If I can actually talk.
Then we have our black wire. Then it will be blue and white. And that's really all there is to it. Um, that's going to be it for this video. If you have any other questions on this process, feel free to leave it in the comments below. Or if you're looking to get your potentiometers replaced, I do offer this service for a pretty good rate. So uh, all that information will be in the description where you can get these pots, etc. Thanks for watching.